Elon Musk is taking on Russia. Tensions across the globe have escalated since the Russian advance on Ukraine last month, and Musk is all but ready to sign a deal with the U.S. military to develop a hypersonic jet. The Ukraine war has yet again put Russia and U.S. on the verge of a military race, and no one wants to be left behind. The United States military has the ever-increasing responsibility of not getting out-innovated by Russia. And for the sake of it, the U.S. has a major asset in the form of Elon Musk, which Russia wishes it had. The tech billionaire has come up with several innovations in the past that the U.S. military has incorporated into its assets. In its first ever contract to build satellites for the military, Elon Musk's company SpaceX in 2020 won a contract to build satellites for the U.S. Department of Defense. In 2021, Musk was reported to sign yet another deal with the military to build reusable supercargo rockets, which could carry a load of up to 80 tons anywhere around the world in less than an hour. This year itself, SpaceX won a contract worth over $102 million to transport military supplies and humanitarian aid around the world using a rocket. Musk is in constant engagement with the U.S. Air Force and the military for a variety of projects. Another similar asset which the military is trying to develop using the expertise of Musk company SpaceX and Tesla is a hypersonic fighter jet under Project Mayhem. If sources are to be believed, the project has already started. Now, building a supersonic or hypersonic jet is not so much of a big deal for the U.S. military. Musk's expertise will come in handy more in the fact that the jet can be made all electric. If that happens, it will be a giant boost to the Air Force and military's capabilities to deliver arsenal and aid to war zones. Musk, anyways, isn't too fond of the fossil fuel engine at any level, be it cars or jets. He carried out his vision for a fully electric premium sedan with Tesla, and now he wants to combine Tesla and SpaceX capacities to produce an all-electric hypersonic jet. What does the project look like? New details about the U.S. Air Force's highly secretive Mayhem hypersonic air vehicle program have emerged. According to reports, the hypersonic jets will provide a modular experimental design, which can be configured to carry one of two different kinds of payloads for strike missions or even a sensor package to enable it to conduct responsive intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance sorties. This new piece of information about Project Mayhem was seen in a contract document that the Air Force Research Laboratory posted online on December 14, 2021. The project even got a new name, Hypersonic Multi-Mission ISR and Strike, or Mayhem. The existence of any such project was first revealed in 2020 by Air Force and said to be a part of a larger Air Force Research Lab effort known as Enabling Technologies for High-Speed Operable Systems, ETHOS. But what does the U.S. military aim to achieve with Project Mayhem? The basic aim is to produce a larger class hypersonic system which will be capable of executing several missions. The system will carry a standardized payload interface and will help in providing significant technological advancements and future capability. The system is expected to deliver five times the payload and double the range as compared to the current technological capability systems. With the standardization of the payload interface, it will be easier to accommodate various payload integrations within the same hypersonic system. According to reports, the U.S. military wants to carry either of the two payloads, Area Effect Payload, which can consist of a swarm of small drones, which will be basically the payload of cluster ammunition, or a large unitary type payload, which means a large single piece payload meant to deal with deep penetrating damage to different kinds of single targets like bunkers or other hardened facilities. The idea is to make a design that can fly at hypersonic speeds during the mid-course portion of a sortie and take off and land like a more traditional plane using existing runway infrastructure in a war zone. Mayhem wants to build a much bigger system to deliver more effects at longer range. The project envisions combining a highly efficient air-breathing platform with a weapon platform and achieving significantly longer ranges than what the technology achieves today. Not much is exactly known about the kind of loads the hypersonic aircraft would carry due to the secretive nature of the project. However, we know that Mayhem has a program ceiling of $371 million. What is a hypersonic aircraft, and why is it the choice for modern warfare? Hypersonic cruise missile systems are already in place, and Project Mayhem will provide an interesting insight into further opportunities 
with a viable hypersonic aircraft. With an actual aircraft moving through the air, the air molecules near the aircraft are disturbed and move around. The ratio of the aircraft speed to the speed of sound through the air decides how exactly the air reacts to the aircraft. This speed ratio is of utmost importance, and hence it has been designated in aerodynamics with a special parameter called the Mach number, in honor of Ernst Mach, a late 19th century physicist who studied gas dynamics. The aircraft which have speeds that are much greater than the speed of sound, the aircraft is said to be hypersonic. Typically, if the speed of an aircraft is greater than 3,000 miles per hour and Mach number M greater than 5, it is classified as a hypersonic aircraft. Hypersonic aircraft coupled with hypersonic missiles have the ability to penetrate any denied airspace striking nearly any location across continents in less than an hour. In aviation, the advancement is speed is important to counter emerging threats in the next several decades. However, as per hypersonic capabilities are concerned, it is not only Musk and the US Army trying to build it. Countries like India and Russia are also known to be pushing ahead with the development of a hypersonic aircraft. India's Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, is building a hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HSTDV, intended to attain autonomous scramjet flight for 20 seconds using a solid rocket launch booster. The research will also come as a proof of India's interest in reusable launch vehicles. Why does Elon Musk fit the bill? Elon Musk has been a pioneer in the field of technology in the last two decades. Soon after cashing out big from his earlier co-creation of PayPal, Musk endeavored to jump into the electric car vehicle manufacturing business, giving birth to Tesla automobiles. Today, Tesla is the largest producer of electric vehicles in the world with such an expertise in the electric vehicle segment, combined with the capabilities of Musk's yet another brainchild, SpaceX, Tesla would obviously be the frontrunner for Project Mayhem. Also, Musk has been quite interested in building a supersonic electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL for a long time now. In a September 2021 tweet, the billionaire is quoted as saying, so dying to do a supersonic electric VTOL jet. However, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk admitted that he is already too preoccupied with a lot of work and said that adding more work will make my brain explode, including emojis of a brain and a firecracker to illustrate his point. Of course, with Musk being the CEO of a space, electric car, and brain interface company, it would be difficult to take out much time for another one of your favorite projects. But considering that the project has got the boost of the US Army, we can see it coming to light. In a 2018 appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, the one where Musk famously smoked a joint, the billionaire envisioned the idea of what such a jet could look like. I have a design for a plane, Musk told Rogan at the time. I've thought about this quite a lot. The trick is knowing that whatever you'd use for vertical takeoff and landing is not suitable for high-speed flight. You don't need any reserve fuel because the energy you use in cruise is very low, once at high altitude. You can even recapture a large part of your gravitational potential energy on the way down. However, even after providing such an insightful kind of blueprint about the electric jets, Musk happened to downplay the idea and said the electric airplane isn't necessary right now. He instead advocated for the increase in manufacture and usage of electric cars, use of solar energy, and stationary storage of energy as more important. These things are much more important than creating an electric supersonic VTOL. However, the innovator certainly had the idea in mind. An all-electric hypersonic jet? Sounds too good to be true. Despite the fact that a lot has changed for his companies since then, Musk still has the capability to build such a mean machine, and the US military knows it fully well. Hence, Musk is the obvious choice for them. Musk will have to take out time from his SpaceX venture of commercialization of space tourism for real and Tesla's mass manufacturing electric cars and also becoming the richest person in the world in between to focus on the hypersonic jet. But once he does and that jet is ready, it will surely be one of its kind and even Musk will prefer it over his conventional fossil fuel powered private jet that he now uses.